Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Friday, March the 22nd, and this is a quick hit on the indexes, starting off with the Dow. So, last night, things looked uh, like they were turning down, but uh, we were very skeptical, and uh, as a matter of fact, thought that it was going to go the other way, and uh, presented reasons why. And sure enough, today was a perfect rip-your-face-off rally day where all the uh, bears got, uh, well, screwed. Um, uh, beyond that, what do we have to look at? Well, certainly the landscape has changed. We made a well, higher-than-yesterday move, although it ended essentially... Uh, you know, right where we began yesterday. Um, this is kind of a difficult spot. And uh, so I'm not really wanting to lean too heavily either way. Um, for one, the Fortune Day RSI moving average is still in ascent. We are turning, or trying to turn, all of the secondaries. So we could have another move of the secondaries to the top to finish out with the 14 day RSI moving average which would produce a uh, new high and I believe that's where it will crap out um, beyond that could we have it turned down yes we could uh, but it would be best to have one more little blip on the MACD histogram and uh, that is entirely doable uh, certainly when the, the uh, new high rolls around, everyone's going to be bullish, and then it will be the perfect time to put the screws to everybody who jumps on and rob them. And that is what the market is best at. Uh, I mean, that was witnessed today. So um, I'm also going to look at the 60-minute time frame just to see what we have to see. And you can see the uh, really awesome move up. Now the bears would look at this and say, well, we haven't broken out of the, the uh, current high. That is absolutely true. And uh, we're only getting to uh, the major price consensus level from the previous month, which is resistance, as you can see here. And indicator-wise, it's not perfect. Absolutely, it's not perfect. The 14-day uh, RSI moving average turning down by the end of the day the uh, stochastics mix, CCI going up, RSI going up, MACD histogram going up, MACD going up. Uh, yeah, the stochastics are pretty done high along with the CCI. Uh, having them go a little bit further, turn down one last time, and then finish with the 14-day to the upside seems most likely to me at this point. Um, that makes the most sense. So, uh, and certainly that would create some whipsaw and confuse the heck out of some people. Uh, that, uh, oh, Friday was just a, uh, a trick, it was a lower high, uh, it's time to go short, and then it finishes off to the upside. Perfect fake out, most likely make another higher low come Monday, and then uh, finish off the move, could take a few days, and then, uh, and then we'll be finally ready. Ready for short, real short. So... Uh, Anyways, that is what I'm looking at. Going on to SPX, more of the same. I don't think there's any real need to rehash everything that was said about the Dow applies to SPX. There's no discernible difference here. And uh, of course, if it breaks off uh, this high, then it's all over and there's no further pullback needed uh, before going off to all-time highs and, uh, and then finally crapping out. So no need to rehash amazing how things change like this though just perfect going on to the VIX oh, what do we have here now I was short the stinking VIX today uh, via VXX and this this thing just uh, did not want to cooperate it had a uh, really decent day. Yes, it's a lower close than yesterday. Um, it's still inside the long-term moving average bar. It's obviously weakening. We were saying last night 
the uh, it needed to prove itself by getting above this high, which obviously it didn't, although yesterday was a very nice day for the VIX. Now, in the overall scheme of things, you can see the 14-day RSI moving average pointing down. The stochastics are mixed, the CCI is going up, the RSI is going up, the MACD is going up, the MACD histogram is going up. There's not much time before these things turn down to move with the 14-day RSI moving average to finish its move to the downside. Um, I absolutely believe that this gap is going to be filled. No doubt about it. And I truly believe that the floor is going to be tested and most likely broken. And that's going to be a, a panic buying on uh, as we break to new highs. Uh, creating a panic of everyone covering their shorts, going long, etc. That should be the blowout, which marks a intermediate bottom. That's what I believe. Uh, now, these are still pointing up. So, uh, the overall indexes, the SPX, the Dow, we were seeing how it could pull back before it goes higher. These seem to confirm that suspicion. So, we can have another move up come Monday before these suckers turn around and confuse everyone. It looks very probable to me. And going on to TNA, which was the laggard of uh, everything today. Not what uh, the bulls want to see, but uh, it is what happened. We ended with another spinning top. But uh, we were saying last night we had a spinning top. The uh, downtick target was met. And we needed to see what it wanted to do next. While this is a weak candle, it is a higher close than yesterday. So that is good enough to uh, say that there should be a bias to the upside. But we also noted last night, and I think that this goes along really well with what happened today uh, with TNA, with the small caps. Um, We had the 14-day RSI moving average going up. We did not have as much movement to the downside on uh, most of the indicators that we did on the Dow and SPX. Hence, the uh, when we had the turn, it was not as abrupt. And uh, that makes sense. This is the RSI going sideways, the CCI barely up, the stochastics in disagreement uh, down on the MACD, down on the MACD histogram. We do not have a bearish cross yet. And going on to the internal structure of volume, because that is important. Internal structure of volume. Uh, what do we have? We said last night we have four greens and one red. Hence, no real need to worry about, you know, falling through the floor yet. But there is something new. Accumulation distribution going sideways. Up until now, it has been pointing up. Very interesting. This could be just due to the fact of it having a weaker day than the others, but actually I believe that this is it running out of space. This does not mean that it's going to turn down and turn into a red at this time. It means that it's going to go sideways and the trigger line is going to catch up to it and then it will fall apart. So it is still free to go up until it's caught. There's a little bit of time for that. But uh, now, assuming that this stays going sideways, now the countdown is really starting. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. And that's going to be it for tonight. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.